Today I'm gonna to show you how to take baking soda, which is already a great product to use in the kitchen, and turn it into washing soda, which is also great, primarily for laundry and cleaning. It's really easy to make. All you do is you take your baking soda and you scoop it out and do just a thin layer on your baking sheet. Now, when this is baking, what happens is it cooks off all of the water and the CO2, which then changes it into washing soda. So baking soda has a pH of about eight, whereas washing soda is about 11. So it's much more alkaline. In fact, you have to be careful about it. You don't wanna breathe it in and you don't wanna have any contact with your skin or eyes. I just try to break up any clumps, then we'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. Shaking the pan occasionally while it's baking can help the water to get out easier. It breaks up that dry crust that can form on the very top. Then you pull it out of the oven and you allow it to cool. Then I just really carefully add my washing soda to a jar so that I can save it for later use. You can use this for laundry. You can add a fourth of a cup of washing soda to your laundry load and it helps to brighten and clean the clothing. You can also make a small paste out of it and use it as a non-abrasive cleaner. And of course, it's in so many different cleaning recipes. Try not to breathe that in as you get it in your jar. Lastly, it's really important to put your washing soda in an airtight container so that it doesn't clump up. 